in just over a week's time, Alexander Usyk and Daniel Dubois will finally get together and will finally see the end of the WBA regular belt. Now actually that's wrong, we'll finally see the end of the WBA super belt, the regular belt's going to stay up. I'm, I'm not even sure if there's any difference between them in terms of how they look aesthetically, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so the fight's going to happen August 26th, there's not long to go now, and I can't lie, I'm actually quite excited for this fight. Um, I don't know like if it's going to be an exciting fight, if you know what I mean, when it's actually happening, but just the whole heavyweight fight, Alexander Usyk, Daniel Dubois, I like the sort of style we match up, I like the fact that Daniel Dubois is a wrecking machine, I like the fact that Alexander Usyk is bulked up for this fight, I like the fact that Alexander Usyk's a mover, he's a boxer, and Daniel Dubois probably going to have fits in there at times, but at the same time, you've got the what if factor, you know, what if he lands, what if he clips him, you know, it can happen, I think that's why this fight is kind of intriguing to me at least anyway. I've been hearing some good encouraging words from Daniel Dubois in the build up to this fight, things like destruction, things like bully, things like anger, things like underdog, aggression, no fear, no pressure, I'm liking everything I hear, which is unusual, because 9 times out of 10 when you're listening to Daniel Dubois speak, you don't hear anything like, like that, if you know what I mean, and my reason for not hearing anything like that is either I've fallen asleep or I've switched off, he's not the most entertaining guy outside the ring, usually. But he's come to the table and he's got this I don't give an F attitude. I like it. I like it a lot. Now I'm about to go into my prediction, right? And it's a weird one because I've never been so conflicted in my life. And I've seen, actually, that's maybe slight exaggeration. I've been conflicted loads of times, probably way worse. But in terms of for this fight, right, my brain and my heart are telling me one thing. And my gut is telling me one thing. And then, like, the schizo part in my gut is telling me another thing, if you know what I mean. Like, all three of the, the indicators that I normally go for mind, brain, and heart, and all that stuff is saying Alexander Usyk. Then, in my gut, there's another thing saying, Do you know what? Daniel Dubois can do this. It's, it's Daniel Dubois' time. He's saying the right things. People are writing him off. There's just that thing in me which is, I don't even know, man. I don't believe he's going to win it, but there's something that says that he is, if you know what I mean. It's a weird situation, but. Here's how I think the fight's going to go anyway. So Daniel Dubois isn't the fastest heavyweight in the world. So he's going to struggle to land on Alexander Usyk clean. But that's not going to really make a difference. Because even if he lands like not flush, if you know what I mean, it's still going to cause damage. So if he lands enough of them or manages to work out some time, and Daniel Dubois can knock Alexander Usyk out and will stop him at some point should he land correctly. Alexander Usyk is 36 recently and he's been out of the ring for a year. He's also bulked up for this thing. So I... I'm not so sure if he's going to be as light on his feet as he normally is. I think he's going in there to try and knock Daniel Dubois out. That's what I think he's going to try and do. I think personally, Alexander Usyk thinks that if he tries to dance around Daniel Dubois for 12 rounds, there's a chance he may get caught. So if he bulks up a little bit, obviously we've all seen with Daniel Dubois, um, he doesn't have the biggest heart in the world. So if Alexander Usyk puts it on him, there's a chance that Daniel Dubois will start to fall apart. And when I say if Alexander Usyk puts it on him, I don't mean he's going to try and do what Tyson Fury did to Deontay Wilder and just walk him down or whatever. He's still going to box. He's still going to be on his feet. But it's just not as much as previously, in my opinion, anyway. So I believe that will give him more opportunity to land bigger shots because he'll be in better positions so rather than normally where he's bouncing around and that. If he's not bouncing around so much, off the top of my head anyway, I think he'll be, he'll be in a better position, have better balance and be able to plant the feet and land heavier shots on Daniel Dubois. So I see Alexander Usyk trying to basically be more aggressive and trying to stop Daniel Dubois. Now, if he were to be successful, I reckon rounds 9 and 11, somewhere around there, or break him down and stop him late. That's an option. I'm not so sure it goes that way. Another viable option is Daniel Dubois connecting with that punch from the gods, so to speak, and ironing out. Alexander Usyk. I don't think that's as far-fetched as everyone else thinks it is. I think he's got a very good chance of landing it. I don't think he will. He may maybe wobble Alexander Usyk at some point, maybe you know, catch him a bit off balance or make him go off balance with the sheer power or whatever, but I don't think anything significant will come of it. Or I don't know. I can't completely write off it. I'd say my gut is telling me Alexander Usyk's going to win, but then there's another part of my gut saying, Do you know what? Everything is right for Daniel Dubois. It's his time. Alexander Usyk's old. He's probably slower. He's probably got aches and pains. Maybe he's bored of boxing. There's obviously all this political stuff going on in his homeland. He's already said that he doesn't really rate Daniel Dubois. So is he taking his eye off the ball? There's a lot of reasons why Daniel Dubois can win this fight, if you know what I mean. But I'm not so sure that's going to be the outcome. And it's definitely not the one I'm going for. Another reason for me, a justification of why Daniel Dubois may win, even though he's not going to. Now, Maris Bradis was Alexander Usyk's toughest fight, right, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you guys can say there's others, but as far as I'm aware, it was a very close fight. Some people argue that Bradis won that. Daniel Dubois would iron out Bradis. I don't care about the size difference, Bradis and carpet heavyweight, Daniel Dubois would iron him out easily, in my opinion. So that kind of makes me think that Daniel Dubois has more of a chance than people are giving him. But at the same time, 
Alexander Usyk is probably going to be too good. So my official prediction is that Alexander Usyk will win this fight by unanimous decision in a fight that was more entertaining than both Joshua fights. And I think Daniel Dubois will do better than probably what Joshua did and he'll look more impressive and he'll be able to leave there with his head held high. That's all I got for this one, guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.